Hello and welcome boys and girls, this is Etheric777, today back with another little video and uh, this here is something like a first impression video because I got the S1000 from DJI, you know the new flagship and uh, so far I installed already the structure and um, I thought to show you a little bit how this looks like. So this here is the S1000 from DJI, the premium version. Uh, it is shipped in this box here. So uh, everything that you got is inside of this box. And um, this part here to build it together like this took like uh, something like one and a half hour. Um, you get uh, all the arms by themselves, these ones here, then the structure and uh, then these parts that you have to put together. Um, what I like is, so what you do is uh, first of all you uh, plug in these arms here, but it's simple and then you put the cable into the uh, power distribution board, distribution board, and then you use some heat shrink to fix it. That is everything that you have to do so far. And then it works simply that you just put up the arm, but it's not so easy when you have the camcorder in hand. Cluck. So you hear that and uh, that is everything that you have to do later on when you are on the flying field or wherever you want to fly. So um, this here is plastic. Um, I cannot tell how good this will work. I'm not a big fan of this plastic part but it looks very very robust and uh, fits very well so that's very nice. And uh, you will just need something like five minutes to build this up when you arrive uh, where you where you need to. Then you have here uh, the prop uh, the propellers. Um, just let's put this away. Open them up, and you are ready to go. At least hopefully, because I still have to uh, install the flight controller. And well, when you are ready with flying, you just put that back together very easy you open it up click and move it down so it's uh, very very easy to transport it uh, down here you have a lot of space uh, for the battery and uh, in front for the camera this one here has still not arrived because there is there are some problems we actually ordered uh, the Z uh, 15 from DJI and then we want to use a Nex 7. Uh, what is also very nice is here the legs are already fixed so this here will work that when you are flying because this here will get a 3D uh, camera controller so this will be flight by two persons then when you fly you can take up the legs and you are ready to go. Um, so this one here is the structure and a second ago I got the new flight controller but it's the A2 and we are going to unbox this together. So there's the bill. We don't want to take a look on this because otherwise we are going to puke. So what we get here is here we have the flight controller let me see if I find a better position for the light. Wow, that looks uh, very, very nice. So the flight controller will probably end up in this position here. Then we have the controller itself. Even this here looks very, very good. You have here um, two CAN ports. Um, of course, M1 to motor 8 and then uh, the input. Um, now this one here is interesting because this one here has already a built-in uh, receiver so you don't need the extra receiver. But this we are going to try that with the Futaba but it looks like you have also the possibility to, con um, to uh, use an external controller. That's very nice. And here we have the LED. And the LED comes like always with an um, USB port. That's not micro USB. I don't know how you call this other one. And my camera is a bit unsharp when I go too near to it. So this is what we got here. That's all. 
And here we have another little package. All right. So this here is a live unboxing. I didn't do that before. This is really how it came just a moment ago. All right, nothing back there. So here we have uh, the, the mount for the GPS. This one here will end up here. What is nice is uh, you can move this down upwards. Now I can't because you need the stick to move it. But then uh, this is nice because then the GPS will be here. And so that's easy to transport. So we have here the GPS. Now this one here is much bigger than I expected. And this one here comes like uh, the Wukong with, uh, with an extra can port. Um, yeah, this is uh, the, the holder, the setup. So now this is much bigger. I didn't expect this. Um, I have here the A2 just to compare this so you know what you can expect. This is the NASA version 2. Let me see if I can open this up with one hand. <laughs> uh, yeah, You see the mount is already much more little. Here we go. That's the normal GPS, so you see the version, the NASA compared to the A2. Um, on the camera picture, this doesn't look so huge, but now when, in uh, out of my view, this is, uh, this is much bigger. All right, well, just to compare this, and this is everything that you get. So uh, you have everything that you need to be ready. Flight controller, the EMU, uh, the PMU, that uh, PMU for power, and then uh, you have a lot of parts. You have here uh, two inputs, so this will be enough, or also uh, for an OSD that we will uh, use later on. Yeah, and uh, that is how it looks like. So this was a little product overview. As I told, you get this part already pre-installed. You just need to put up the arms here, uh, one screw, plug in the power board plug in uh, the ESC um, cables here and uh, all this will come out where it is where is it hidden uh, it should be here somewhere of course now I can't find it <laughs> uh, yeah they, they hide it very well. I think it comes out on the other side. I have to find it again. So uh, then you just plug in the cables you put on the controller and then you should be ready to go. So uh, first impression is very, very good. Oh, by the way, this here comes with an uh, XT uh, 150 um, power plug. So for 150 amps uh, because every motor here can um, go up to 500 watt that means uh, 4000 maximum all in all i was watching in the uh, manual 1500 in hovering that's like 60 amps and um, so what i did here is uh, because i like these xt90 connectors i just put in two and went to the main board so i can plug this off and can use even another battery because i will use Sippy compact batteries, uh, I sold already here the XC90 connectors, so at least two, but probably three or four. Um, I was watching, you can put on, uh, put in three in parallel mode, uh, also four, but I have to see how I can balance this when I get uh, the gimbal. So, um, that's so far from my side. I already reload the batteries and then I hope we will have nice weather. Let's take a look. That's the weather right now. Blue sky and all that. Can you see that? That's nice. So uh, I hope I will have this weather also tomorrow. Uh, no, on Saturday when I try to uh, to try this. And <coughs> I'm sorry. Let me move. Yeah, that's better. Uh, that I didn't show up with some narrated flight videos lately. Uh, you know, this here was eating a lot of time, uh, was uh, building and building and building. And um, I just finished, maybe you remember this, this little quadcopter here. And uh, this here has another light. And I hope that soon a camera will arrive because it's um, at the customs and it didn't came up so far. And then I can finish this one here and then I can 
be back with some other narrated flight videos. Uh, all right, that was it from my side. Nothing special, but uh, just one video also to greet you guys, to let you know uh, all is fine. I'm just uh, building and building all the time and uh, I'm still here. I thank you very much that you had the time to watch this video. Uh, I can't wait to check this out. So probably the next video will be this one here flying. Uh, I also wanted to show you the hexacopter and the other octocopter. So I hope the next videos will be some flying videos. I don't know when, but it will happen. All right, I thank you very much. Uh, come back soon and bye-bye.